Okay, so we are here at Carnation Cafe for our breakfast for our 10 year anniversary. We've officially been together 10 years now. Sorry if you can't hear me. I tried to pop this crazy zit last night, but it was not happening. Anyway, I'm here for Mickey Shaped Waffles. So, uh, yay! All right, here is my Mickey waffle with some bacon, and they've got the chicken fried steak. So, here we go. Okay, so we just got our pictures by the new Mickey and Minnie Celebration Mall in Toontown. It's so cute. Look at all these crowds. It is crazy here. We just got off of the uh, Matterhorn also. And we have fast passes for Roger Rabbit. We're gonna go see if the standby wait time is shorter than like an hour, cause that's how long we have to wait for it anyway. So like, we were gonna ride Gadget's Go Coaster, but it's like, 50 minute wait and it's just like not really worth it so Roger Rabbit's worth it though and they have a fun queue like the queue area is really like interactive and cool so we're headed over there now all right so that was out because Roger Rabbit's broken so we have to wait an hour anyway so thankfully it's not broken like when we're getting on it fingers crossed so we're gonna maybe go get some food or some ice cream. I might get some ice cream and do a little shopping in the five and dime. Okay, so we're here in the five and dime shop and they have this adorable Marie magnet. You've gotta be kidding me. But they're all stacked on top of each other so they're all scratched. So every oh, single one of those all scratched. Like, that one's awful. Like, what the heck? This is so disappointing. Do they have any that are hanging up like that? Because I want one, but they're all messed up. Maybe I can get a discount on one. Because they're all, they're all like that. They're all really bad. Yeah, they are. We should let them know that they're doing that so that, <gasps> oh my gosh, this frame. Okay, I'm getting this frame too, because this is so cute. Okay, so update, we took all of the little magnets to the front at the, the cash register and we told them about it, that they were all like scratched up and everything. And they said that they were gonna go look upstairs and see if they had any more that were like new, that weren't all scratched up for me. But they said they didn't have any. And I asked if I could get a discount on one of the ones that maybe was scratched up or whatever. Because I could just like repaint it maybe. But um, they said no, they're not allowed to do that. They just have to dispose of the broken stuff. They're not allowed to give discounts on stuff that's flawed. What? You said destroy them. Yeah, they have to like dispose or destroy them. So that, you know, they're not like, put, they're not displaying or selling like flawed stuff. They have to destroy it. So... Just a little tip for you guys to know I wasn't aware of that and now I am so I figured I would share the news with you But I did get that little dog picture frame. Okay guys, so we are in line for the submarine ride the submarine voyage and I have a question Would you guys qualify this as a hidden Mickey in the rock formation? or not let me know down below if this is a hidden Mickey or not a hidden Mickey. Because it kind of looks like it because you have the two ears and then the head. But let me know what you guys think. Does it qualify or is it too obscure? <laughs> we are on Nemo Nemo! And we just have barnacles we're looking at. I know. Please remain coins. seated during our voyage. No food or drink to be consumed in the sub, and no flash photography, as it'll scare the fish. So cute little babies. Look at them. Little baby doggies. Little babies. <laughs> Yeah, they're right on the other side of you there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so I finally got some popcorn. Alan got a grape slushy at the little coffee cart by the castle. <laughs> and they're gonna be starting a parade soon, but we're not sitting where we need to be sitting. Ew, my lips are so crusty. I really need to touch those up. <laughs> but, um, anyway. I just did Star Tours for the first time ever. I've never ridden it before. That's a good ride. Like, even if you're not a fan of Star Tours, check it out, because it's great. Anyway, the parade's gonna start soon, but we're not sitting, like, where the parade is. We're kind of just, like, sitting on the curb, like, open area on this side but we'll be able to hear it so I guess that's what counts we kind of saw it yesterday too but and I've seen this parade before oh starting Mickey Mouse okay I'm gonna go now It did, it got you bad. <laughs> yeah, like really yeah. Bad. yeah, hold on, I'll it was not really bad. Okay, so we were walking, we're in Frontierland right now, and we were walking to New Orleans Square for our dinner reservations at six o'clock, and we just got pooped on by birds. So, <laughs> turn around. <laughs> it hit me in the arm, and I felt it hit my eyelash. So we gotta clean up before we go to dinner real quick. <laughs> Supposedly that's good luck though, right? So we made it. We are in Blue Bayou and look at what they did with their menu. They put a light in the back of it so that you can read it in the dark. This is brilliant. Why do not more restaurants have that? <laughs> anyway, I'm probably gonna get the catch of the day and I might add like a, a house salad to it or something. And of course, gotta get my mint julep. So I got a house salad. And you got the gumbo to try. Did you taste it? Not really. I didn't. Oh, I, I taste it. Oh, you're fine. It's gonna slip. I'm trying to like stabilize this. Okay. <laughs> Is it good? Is it yeah. spicy? No. Okay, fine. Eatable. Edible? No, oh, eatable. It tastes like refried beans. Kind of. It tastes really good. <laughs> it's like beans and rice. <laughs> That's pretty much what it tastes like. I'm gonna get some chunks in there this time, though. catch of the day that is the sea bass I thought it would be salmon like last time but it's actually different but I'm excited to try it Alan got some filet a couple different types of potatoes and a random little lobster tail on there he doesn't usually eat fish but 
they said they'd bring it out anyway. And then we figured out life hack. You take this bread and you dip it in the gumbo, it will change your life. So do it. <laughs> but yeah, we are grubbing our food now. Okay, we got our spot posted for the fireworks. lights are cool whatever but the whole point of us even coming back to the park we took a break and went to the hotel and the whole point of us even coming back to the park was specifically for fireworks so thanks wind I mean it was great because it wasn't rainy so now I have to figure out how on earth on Saturday we're going to manage to not only try and get fast passes without getting a dinner reservation for the 10 or 10.30 show, the later showing of Fantasmic, and how we're gonna be able to watch the fireworks from Main Street, hopefully, provided it's not windy, mind you. Um, how we're gonna watch the fireworks from Main Street, and then beeline, and hopefully watch Fantasmic. And we only have one more day to do all this, so we should have just watched the fireworks last night because they were happening. But no, we were gonna get on Indiana Jones and I was all worried about eating bacon wrapped asparagus. <laughs> Had I known, I would have. But that was like half the reason that I planned like everything the way. <laughs> See, this is why you don't plan things, people. They just don't work out. That's why you don't plan things. Because it doesn't work out in your favor. <laughs> And then you have high expectations and high hopes, and then your your dreams just get shattered. Like breakfast. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't end this vlog with fireworks. Maybe in my next one you'll see them. Actually, the next day will actually, actually, actually be Universal Studios. So maybe after that, then you'll see fireworks or Fantasmic or both. Who knows? but I was part of Mickey's mixed magic for you without the fireworks. I don't know. Like, it sucks, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm trying to stay happy and positive and everything, but the stupid wind. <laughs> like, you, we have like 50 mile an hour winds back home. Like, this is nothing, so this is like, it's, it's sad, but it's like for, for everybody's safety, and I understand, and I get that, but it's just like, <laughs> it's annoying. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because we're just headed back to the hotel. Like I said, we, we went back to the hotel to rest and the whole reason we even came back to the park was to watch the fireworks in the park. So, we're gonna 
go to bed now <laughs> because we're exhausted and we have a long day tomorrow at Universal. So I'll talk to you guys later. So long. Stay strong. Stay true. Be you. Bye.